A new program by the Albuquerque Fire Rescue is hoping to keep the community clean and safe while putting an end to a nationwide opioid problem. Now the program's success gives an eerie insight into just how bad the drug problem is. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen shows us tonight. Jeannie. Madeline AFR calls it a sharp, sharps kiosk and in less than a month they've collected hundreds of used needles with hope that this can end the opioid crisis in our city. Causing uh, not only uh, hospitalizations but also deaths uh, and so it's a very serious issue that we need to uh, look at from many angles. Dr. Melanie Dodd with Clinical Affairs at UNMH says drug addiction is a nationwide epidemic and Albuquerque is not immune. This was kind of a trial to see if these boxes would actually work. Something that's made clear by the huge success of a new Albuquerque fire rescue and city parks and rec collaboration. For just over a month now, you can find boxes like these around the city. They provide a safe and convenient place for people to dispose of used needles. Look at this one on Central and Charleston. We came out and checked it on Friday and sure enough it was full and there was extra bags of needles around it. Emily Hadamio, Deputy Chief of Emergency Services with AFR, says the kiosk was so full they called in reinforcements. Literally had to shovel it into a bigger sharps container so that they could take it to dispose of it. The results even caught the attention of Mayor Tim Keller who hopes this type of program won't be needed in the near future. Dr. Dodd hopes the same. And our goal certainly into into the future would be uh, that we have a, a healthy a healthy community. But Hadamio says right now they are just focused on educating the public to keep everyone safe. Keeping needles out of the parks, keeping needle, needles out of public spaces so that it's safe for our, our families to use. The goal and part of the solution is certainly on the education and the prevention side, uh, but it's also uh, helping uh, those uh, along the way. Right now there are six Sharps kiosks spread throughout the city. A seventh one will go up in the Bel Air neighborhood in the next few weeks. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. The boxes are currently scheduled to be cleaned out every four weeks. That may change based on how frequently the boxes are used.